Want to know one of the best ways to keep your business secure? For many businesses, regular passcodes or key cards don't cut it anymore. Keep watching today's video to find out how you can keep your business more secure. I'm Jorge Ramirez with Safe and Sound Security, the place where professionals turn for security system information and solutions. As you probably already know, if you own a business or are in charge of a commercial property, access control is an integral part of any business or facility's security. It ensures that only people with proper authority and credentials can gain access. There are a variety of different methods for verifying identity and credentials, from prox cards to pin codes to fingerprint scanners. Today we're going to talk about an access control system that many facilities use today to increase security, two-factor authentication. First, let's all get on the same page and make sure we understand what two-factor authentication is. Most systems or devices that require authentication for access only require one form, a password or key card, for example. You've seen this when you log onto your favorite website and have to enter a password, or when you go to the gym and need to swipe a key card. Two-factor authentication, however, is a form of multi-factor authentication that requires two levels of security to give a user access. This beefed up security helps prevent hackers or burglars from getting in. Next, I'm gonna explain the different types of factors you can use to authenticate users when using multi-factor authentication. You may have come across multi-factor authentication on websites or apps. Although many sites still only require one form of authentication, multi-factor authentication is becoming much more common. Many websites or apps that store sensitive information such as credit card or banking info encourage users to set up two-factor authentication. Often, you'll be asked to enter a username and password and then verify your identity with a unique code sent via email or SMS. This adds one more layer of security against hackers who must have both the knowledge factor, which is the password, and the possession factor, which is the unique code sent via email for SMS. There are three main types of factors you can use as authentication, knowledge factors, possession factors, and inherent factors. Knowledge factors are things the user knows or commits to memory. This is your typical password or PIN code. It's the most common and basic form of authentication factor. Possession factors are items or tokens given to the user or that they possess. This might be a key card in a swipe card system or even a physical key. It could also be a biometric factor, such as a digital signature or a cryptographic key. Digital possession factors can be either connected or disconnected tokens. Disconnected tokens have no connection to the access control system and often use a built-in physical screen to display a generated authentication key. From there, the user manually enters into the access panel. Connected tokens, on the other hand, are devices that are physically connected to the system and automatically transmit the appropriate credentials for access to the computer. These include common tokens such as smart cards and USB drives, which are quite cheap and easy to use. Lastly, inherent factors are inherent in the user themselves. They are typically biometric factors such as fingerprints, face scans, or even retina scanners on more secure systems. Using any combination of these factors makes the system or building more secure. Now that you understand what factors are, let's take it a step further and make sure we understand two-factor authentication. You may have heard of two-step authentication as well. While the two are similar, they are not one and the same. While two-factor authentication requires at least two different types of factors, two-step authentication does not. The two steps can be of the same form. For example, someone might be asked to enter both a password and a PIN number. This can, in theory, make two-step authentication systems somewhat less secure than two-factor systems. These two forms of authentication are usually used for different purposes and systems. However, plain two-step authentication without different factors is more likely to be used for consumer-grade applications, while two-factor is often used in systems requiring much more security. In short, if you're at all worried about security, two-factor authentication is the way to go. So here's how a two-factor system works. When an employee or user tries to gain access to an entry point in your facility, two-factor authentication will require them to complete two steps to gain access. 
Usually this is a knowledge factor followed by a possession factor or inherent factor. This helps ensure they are who they say they are, which reduces the risk of stolen passwords or key cards being used to gain access to the system or building. Hackers would have to steal not only two different factors, but also two different forms of authentication and even more difficult tasks to pull off. Once you have a two-factor system set up, your users will have secure access. You can choose which factor makes sense for your business and the factors you use could change over time as well. Just make sure you're using two pieces of authentication from two different factor categories. If you liked this video and it helped you learn more about two-factor authentication, make sure to like the video and click the subscribe button below. Also, if you'd like to browse some of our written content or have a security project you'd like to talk to us about, head over to getsafeandsound.com. And now, I'd like to turn it over to you. Do you have any comments or questions about two-factor authentication? Let me know by leaving a comment below right now.